earlier, there is a high wind here on Lake Louisville today. It is trading up the water. Our cameras, well, it looks like it's smooth water, but it's not. It's very lumpy, and these boats and these drivers are being put to the test here today. Mark Evans is doing a fine job on the X-side, on the inside, on the outside of him in lane number two. The orange boat is the tide, driven by Nate Brown, and that's where your battle is right at the moment. Look at the X-side try to creep up ever so slightly on the tide boat. He'll try to even it up. Meanwhile, on the far outside, it is the T-plus. T-plus, Stephen David really coming on strong, trying to hold his speed. The boat on the inside will have the advantage because he's running a shorter course, and you can see Exide has taken that advantage. Look from the inside of the T-plus. This is what Stephen David... You see the boat and rooster tail from Nate Brown in the tide. Not too fast as unlimiteds go. Lap number one for the lead boat, Miss Exide, only 125.4. You know they can go faster than that. It's the water. Again, from Exide, Mark Evans again now on the straightaway is getting his feel back in the water. He's a little bit light, but he's trying to catch him. He knows on the turn he'll have the advantage again. Meanwhile, on the far outside, to the left of your screen, the man trying to hold the high speed is Steve David. And look at the tide. Come on now. And take the lead at the end of two laps so the lead has changed from lap to lap and still the t plus on the left of your screen still very much a challenger they talk about the restrictors that they have put on these boats 138 miles per hour a good lap speed for mark evans but he's going to have to find a little bit more as we look from the t plus you see nothing but rooster tails right at this point steve david is trying to figure out how he can take advantage of that outside water to get up and get even with those guys but so far it appears the tide may have too much power if he does not then certainly Exide does he's got the advantage and it looks like the checker flag is waiting it's going to be a drag race off that corner number four deck and it looks like mark evans on the inside has the advantage mark evans coming up and is he going to do it as they come down to the finish line mark evans has them by about a nose Nate Brown trying to find a little bit of extra power. The final turn now, and let's see what happens. Nate Brown looked like he might have taken it, but it is Mark Evans. Mark Evans comes up and nips him as you go across the finish line inside the exit. Look at this finish, Jim. Oh, that was very, very close. You can see the orange boat, the tide, coming up on the exit as the checker flag, and that's the finish. A half a boat length. 